In this video, I'll show you how to create new folders automatically using data from Google Sheets. Let's start. Here I have created a sample spreadsheet of high school students containing their student ID, name, class and email address. Now I want to create new Google Drive folders for each student and I want to share those folders with the students so that they can upload their assignment files in their respective folders. This sheet has students of all classes, but we'll create folders for only those students who are in class 9 and 10. Let's see how we can automate the creation of folders with the help of Document Studio. If you don't have the add-on installed already, you can install it by visiting this link. We'll also put this link in the video description below. Once Document Studio is installed, go to the extensions in your Google Sheet and choose Document Studio to launch the add-on. Create a new workflow and give this workflow a descriptive name. Choose the specific sheet in your Google Spreadsheet that contains the student data for which you want to create the folders. This is the Trigger Conditions section. If you want your workflow to run for all the rows in the sheet, select the Process All Rows option. However, if you want to process this workflow for only those rows that match a certain criteria, then select the Process Specific Rows option. Click on this drop-down which contains the list of all the columns in the sheet. I want to create folders for students of class 9 and 10 only, so let's choose Class. Here we have a list of comparison operators. I'll select the contains operator and specify 9 and 10 in the text field here. Let's go to the next step. Document Studio is a very versatile Google add-on which can be integrated with popular applications like Airtable, Telegram, Trello, WhatsApp and the list keeps growing. For this example, since we are looking to create new folders inside Google Drive, Select Google Drive from the list of tasks. From the list of available services, select the Create Folder option. Next, we'll choose the parent Google Drive folder inside which we want the student folders to be created. This opens the Google File Picker window. I've already created a folder inside Google Drive named Student Assignments, so I'll just select that. Document Studio allows you to create folders inside shared drives as well. Now this is where we'll specify how the subfolders should be created inside the parent folder. Here is a list of dynamic markers which we can choose to name the folders. These markers have been pulled from the header row of the Google Sheet and these will be replaced with actual cell values of the sheet. So when I specify the subfolder path as year, class, full name dash student ID, this is how the subfolders will be created inside the parent folder. Now once the individual folders have been created for each student, you can choose to automatically share the folder with the respective student so they can directly upload their class assignments. You can add the students as viewers, editors or commenters. In the editor field, type in the name of the column containing the email addresses, which in my sheet is student's email. This should be enclosed in double curly braces. Do remember that if you want to share the folders in this step, there has to be a column containing email addresses in the active Google Sheet. Now you may want to keep this option checked so that the student receives a notification email as soon as the folder is created in the Google Drive with them as the editor. This is done. Now we have added a task to create individual folders for each student of class 9 and 10. The folder created for a particular student will also be shared with them. Let's continue. This workflow will process all the rows that are currently there in the sheet. You can also check this option if you want new folders to be created for new students whenever they are added in the sheet. I'll skip this for now. Now for the last step, 
we can either save this workflow here and run it sometime later or we can run it immediately. I want the folders to be created now so I'll choose the save and run option. Now the queued rows are the row numbers that match the criteria which was students of class 9 and 10. You can deselect one or more row numbers that you do not want to be processed in this run. Skipped rows are the ones that do not match the conditions or the rows that are either hidden or empty. Let's run the workflow now. The workflow has been processed and folders for all the students of class 9 and 10 have been created. Let's now switch to Google Sheets. As you can see, a new column has been added by Document Studio and this contains the links to the new folders that have been created only for class 9 and 10 students. Let's also open Google Drive and check out the folders. This is the parent folder and these are the class-wise folders. Here are the student folders. All the folders have been named as per the naming condition defined in the task. So this was a quick tutorial for creating bulk folders through Google Sheets. If you found this video useful, you may also want to check out our other tutorial on how to create new folders through Google Forms submissions. You can open this link to know more about the capabilities and features of Document Studio. And do check out our website digitalinspiration.com for more such useful add-ons for Google Sheets and Google Forms.